to say right at the beginning, <laughs> there's not a men's only subject. The other day I was in a church discussing the same subject, and a bishop told me that the biggest chat, the biggest um, failure is on us carrying our sisters on this subject. I know we are many tribes here, but there are several women who are now telling their husbands, you did not marry me properly because you never finished the dowry. Their subject is not You know, you know so, 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 so according to her, although you were in church, she is not properly married. And you know, at the time of, you are so seriously saying, when you are getting married, you sought permission from her parents, everybody got the vote, but there are certain cultural things you never did. So now, 25 years later, she is saying she is not properly married. <laughs> another one, another one says, I can still you pay that way. But you never get in there. If you have a you in the ways. It is a sacrifice that makes the two families become one. So I am not properly married. And if the Kikuri says, no, how would I give? Did you ever give the coat? Did you share the blood for to confirm I am married to you? No. Then I'm not properly married. So even after talking to you, your problem was still there. Because <laughs> she will say, she will still tell you, you are not properly married. I want to ask whether anybody is having difficulty with my English. Because then I will come to my Swahili, which is... And it, when I went to school, I did my four four, I did my one. And by the time you were doing that, doing Swahili was okay. Your Bokinata did not make Swahili very serious. In fact, there was no a level Swahili when I went to school. So people didn't take it seriously. So it's not that I have forgotten Swahili, I never knew it. Now, <laughs> But I can see. But is there anybody? And of course, we are in a fellowship. Sasa tunataka kujua kama kuna mtu wabaya kingereza changu ni kikumu hivi kule mwelewe introduction ya hile nimefatiana. Huku usikia ni zamani hata kilo na nikiweka kingereza rahisi kuliko hitu utasikia Unajua hiyo huku kumaliza prenda ni kakua huku. Kwa za minataka kuongea kikereza ya sarate 8. Ili kutiwe na mtu wata moja akasikia. Nikileza sarate 8 itakua sawa. Iyo itakua sawa. Haa, tatu metewana. Kwa hiko, kila wakati nikitumia neno kubwa, lazima ni tafsiri. Tafsiri, is that right for you? Yeah. So, I'll be talking about the Gereza, like in the Gereza, the Mutu Astara Day, eight. If you're a Mutu A, eight. Okay. Now, the Mereza, 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 the Watu wa moi, kiswa hii wanakiwa. Na wako hii kutapa. Mutu wa bae, alienda shule baada ya mwe kushukua usukani 78. Hata ukua usemu ujui kiswa hii, ukweli ujifundishu. Sio ni kwe? Mi siku ujifundishu. Nikasa hawa. Back to what I was talking about. And I will try, and if you advise us something you can't understand, Put up your hand, I will repeat it. I will repeat it in simple, simple, simple language. But our subject today is about the Christian response to traditions. When you become a Christian, how do you 
deal with your African tribal customs? How do you deal with the beliefs of your ancestors? And you have become a Christian. That's what you are saying today. And like I was saying, part of the people that are making us have to deal with this seriously are women. Although they are not here. So whatever we discuss, please go and discuss with your spouse. Is that agree? Yeah. Let me give you three reasons why this subject is now very, very important. Number one, in the last 10 years, there is a big move backwards to traditions. And to be fair, they have the Kenya government behind it. In fact, the other day, the president said that there is going to be a cultural center in every town. Did you hear him? He said they during the wedding of Waigoro, because she did so. We're going to not have a Christian wedding here, a traditional wedding. And he said now every county will have a, a cultural center. That, so it is politically being moved that although Christianity has been here for 200 years, now something went wrong. We now want to go back to our beliefs. And probably that's the first reason we are dealing with it. Because now you have to ask yourself. The government are not biologically trained, are they? No. Can they be the ones to tell us what to accept and what to leave? No. So it is you, as such leaders, who must tell her, hey, Hapo, there you cannot go. I cannot be a Christian and do that. And that's why we are this, we are this meeting. Second reason you, why this subject has become important is because it's not only a government thing, it's not a political thing. Many parties are not allowed you to stand in there as an MP unless you are an elder in your tribe. In 2013, in 2013, I was talking to a young man who told me he wanted to start as an MCA in Kiambu. And he was told, surely, how can we, how, how can we allow you to be an MCA if you are a child? He said, but I'm not a child. You know, the guy who is a child, he is a child, he is a man. Say, no, 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 that's just the beginning. Have you given the vote? No, it is the Boyakia. Have you given yeah. the vote of the elders? Say, but I'm a Christian, please. Just like you in church have your own rules. We also have our own rules. To be an adult, you must sacrifice a vote. And you're not asking to leave your church, but you don't take it. But if you really want to be a leader, an elder, an adult, as far as they are concerned, you must give a vote. He says, but how do I do it? I'm a Christian. He says, you can't tell me. If you don't know, give me the money. I'll buy the vote for you. All you need is to come and because you're a Christian, we'll not ask you for joy, we'll not ask you for alcohol, we'll sort it out to ourselves. Just appear on the day the elders require you, we'll kill the vote, and from that time you'll we'll be an adult, you cannot stand for MCA. Do you know the young man agreed? By the time I'm preaching in his church, and he said, I'd like to discuss this up. I told him, I'll, I'll buy you coffee, so I took him for tea in Ajaba. And he was telling me, Brother Nana, it is too late. I've already participated in the ceremony. Why did he do it? Because they told me that I will not be allowed to be, that was the time it was DNA. I will not be able to stand for DNA elections. Unless there's a, they call them, I think they use a couple of time, they say, you know, the group of elders of a certain village can recommend and say, I'm an adult, according to them. Last two Sundays ago, I was preaching a group. Only two Sundays ago. Yeah, two Sundays. I think the final, the final Sunday of January or thereabouts. And again, a young man. Now I'm not too young, some of the children in the university is not too young. Told me, you know, you know that book you wrote? You know, we talk about the book in a while. The book has helped me. He said, why? Because I'm standing as a senator. And when I was now moving around Nakuru County to talk to them, they told me I'm not an adult. And if I have to be an adult, I must give a vote. I told them, I can't say, no, 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 no. You're not asking me to 
but fly, stay with your Christianity. But in addition, all of give us a good. So he's explained to them, they are in two religions. That is the Kikuyu religion. But the day I got saved, I left Kikuyu to religion. So surely, how can you refuse to elect me because of your religion? When I go to a meeting and there are Catholics and Protestants, I don't cross Catholics to God Protestants. We have a meeting with them. Now when I come to your meeting, you are from the Kikuyu religion. I'm from Christianity. Surely, shouldn't we have a meeting about the good and the bad of the, of the, of the country? Why must I be forced to leave my religion and join your religion? And it's only he has, many of them have told him they will not support him. But he still believes God has called him to their service. And I'm praying for him. I hope you start seeing how important this subject is. And unfortunately, we don't have a lot of time to deal with it. So, my suggestion is, because I, this idea came to me, not too long ago, by the way, because I was, I, I retired many years ago, like you can tell. I'm not yet 70, I'm 70 this year, but my birthday has not come yet, so I'm not yet 70. But uh, this last few means, I retired 25, 15 years ago, and I do consult as well. So I do a lot of leadership training. And I was training some people in Yadara, it was a pastor's conference, and I was training them. During question time, they started asking me questions about leadership. They started saying, what are you, what are you going to do about Kiamakiaburi? I said, what? Kiamakiaburi means the, the council of the court, literally. <laughs> and it's called the council of the court because you cannot join it without giving a court. So I asked them, we are in a pastor's meeting. What have that got to do with us? I was kind of dismissing it. I don't ask relevant questions. Hey, another pastor put up his hand and said, Mwari, we don't seem to be understanding. It's a very serious matter. The other day, we were having a meeting in my parents' place, and my father told me, unless I give the goat, the next time there's a ceremony in our home, I will not eat with that I will eat with I will eat he I will eat with the circumcised boys. Because adults have given the food. If you are not given a food, you are not an adult. But then my father told me, you know who I am, I know you are a pastor. Maybe you have no money. I'm going to buy the food on your behalf. If that is the problem. Oh the pastor now brought my back and said, no, no, I'll buy it, I'll buy it. So by the time we are talking, he has already given. Then somebody will say, hey, somebody. so I mean, it's a serious matter. As you are, I normally walk around with them, some young men just like a bad man today. As you are going back and say, I have gotten a revelation I never had. Me, whenever I hear about those traditional elders, I assume they are in the non Christian world. I did not know they have penetrated into the Pentecostal churches. Because the time I talked to the Pentecostal pastor, and I thought, that's quite an issue. So when I came back, I decided to call somebody of my age. I was the chairman of the University of Christian in 1975. The mother was my secretary then, who was also the one who, who when I got to in 1979, was one of the men of the, of, of the key. So we are right for, from, from the university days. So I said, can I buy you coffee? Yes. We met again in Java and said, this thing I have in Adara, is it in Morana? He said, what? You mean it's in Adara? The other people are meeting and my younger brother could not allow me to talk because I'm a child. You see, the way they are telling it these days is that a kehe and some of them do not give the vote are the same. And even if you are like me at my age, a boy of 30 will be the one to talk. You, you cannot talk. In fact, now in government vacations, if you have not given a vote, you must keep your mouth shut. So I said, you know I was not worried until I discovered the church people are in it now. They said, yes, my brother, my brother is in the church one in the morning, in the afternoon somewhere else. So he said, let's look for one more person. 
So we look for another person who was in here at the line. So we know each other from, from our high school days. I mean, now we have people, three people. Tell us about where you come from. He said it's a big reversion. It has happened only in 10 years. A big reversion of people in the church back to the traditional worship. And since then, four or five years ago, I've now discovered many of the people leading are pastors and bishops. Like in Kiabu, one of the top people in the Kema is a bishop, an Anglican bishop who retired the other day. So it's not even wherever you go, whether you go to Yen, wherever, it is pastors who are doing it. So I don't that's not my mother you can do. So think of us saying it a minute. At our age, we are supposed we are the people who are in school in the 1950s, because we were born, we are we were still in primary school in the 1950s. Surely we know something about the Quran era and we know Christ. So should we be the one trying to hold responsible if we have people are missing this it? So we agree. We will form a fellowship of people who might be about to say yes, what? That means we are alive before independence. And are seriously born again. And accept the Bible as the final word of every matter of faith. Amen. And we are able to get about the same people. So for the last four years, until COVID stopped us, we have moved to Kenyatta, to, because you can't go to another tribe because you say they think they're looking down on them. So I'm encouraging the Ruyas, the Ruos, to go back to their to their rural area. But in central, we have been we have been to Embu, to Kirinyaga, to Nye, to Morana, here in Kiabu, uh, uh, to Nyadara, we have been to Nakuru, bringing pastors and men leaders together to ask the question: How are we going to respond to those traditions? And I. Of course, after some time, people say, is that book I can read? So the other people, because they know I like, say, no, no, no. Since this information is already given in Baba, why don't you record it and make it a book? So this book was, was not my book. This is actually written by the group in the sense that I, I copied what everyone was saying and put it together about how a Christian can respond to culture. And uh, uh, there are copies. My books, because they are in the young people born with for 600, it doesn't matter whether they were small. Cost for single and chillings. So if you have the money, and because you're not have enough time, you can pick up a, a copy. It's called Christianity and, uh, Christianity and Culture by John Nangam. Then after that, because I found a lot of those traditions have to do with marriage, I now wrote a new book called Is Your Marriage Christian or Traditional? Because the fact that you are saved does not tell us about your marriage. You may be saved, but your marriage is not. See, a lot of people actually have a traditional marriage which is treated like for Nazar. You know, and most people, in fact, it's created a lot of problems. Where a young man is told by the tradition, once you have done the right work, this is your wife. Now she has said, so that is he, does he sleep with her or not? And a lot of people actually sleep with the girl because after all the tradition she is my lady. Because the wedding one, the one in the church is just a book. And the pastor is a joker. Now, you need to know. <laughs> because the real one was that. And by the way, I lived in Western Kenya for three years. I know it's the same thing in Gola, the same thing in the tradition, in Ruyala. That when the traditional one is that, that's a serious one. The church one is just a joke. Led by. <laughs> so that's why I wrote, I wrote this book. Um, so that at least we can discuss that topic, because it's important. So the question is, I wish we had, we normally, when we run seminars, it normally takes a whole day, because I would have wanted to, you to talk, because it's important to hear what you are, what you are saying about, um, about th these matters yourself, because it's very unlikely, very, very unlikely, that uh, you haven't already had to deal with the matter yourself, because these are issues that, um, that are important for all of us. I want to go through a few, a few of the things that are in my notes, but again, the Secretary of the Pastors Fellowship has the, has the information, so uh, has the notes, so he can look at, look at them. I want us to look at 1 Corinthians 10, verse 20. Please, pick your Bible. 
ufungue wa Korinto wa kwanza mlango wa kumi mstari wa 20 first corinthians 10 verse 20 And I'm going to read in several versions with the Greek words for our discussion. King James says, "But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to God. And I would not that they should have fellowship with the devils." The first question I ask myself: Are you a Gentile? Are we a Gentile? Answer me. Are we as Gentiles? Or they are Jews? See, Gentiles are non Jews. Am I right? You see, some of them are factors, isn't it? Now, so are we as Gentiles or Jews? Gentiles. Listen to the verse again. As I say that the things which Luyas sacrifice, <laughs> they sacrifice to devils. And not to God. And I hope that you do not have followed the devils. That means every ceremony where you shed blood in real, the Bible has declared it, a worship to devils. But because you might think in James is bad English, I'll take the ASV. <laughs> But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to demons. No, it's not for devils, but demons, and not God, and I would do that they should have communion with the demons. The Amplified Version says, on the contrary, the things which the Gentiles, in bracket, bracket, sacrifice, they sacrifice to demons, in effect, and not to God, and I do not want you to become partners with the demons. By eating your feast in Pagan's temples. Another version? No! I'm, I'm suggesting that what the Pagan sacrifice they offer in effect to demons, to evil spiritual powers, are not to God at all. I do not want you to fellowship and be partners with the diabolical spirits by eating at their feasts. DRG, another version. But I say that the thing is the Gentile sacrifice, the sacrifice to devils and not to God, and I would that, not that he should have fellowship with devils. I've read so many versions so that you see it's not a version issue. The interesting thing, I've read the Bible, the first time I was taught to read the Bible systematically is when somebody came to my high school in 1968. I told her the importance of reading the Bible using the power. So from my kids today to date, I read the Bible consistently from cover to cover. And so I don't know how many times I've read the Bible from cover to cover. But I know that so this. <laughs> that any Kikuyu ceremony, a Kikuyu tenders, any Kikuyu ceremony, is a ceremony to demons. I'm not going to get it. So if you are here, you are Kikuyu. And you actually did a bloody. My friend, you participated in demonic. <laughs> I don't put me. Can you see our thing here? But I don't know if I'm right. What is bloody? Bloody, you know what I mean? I can tell you. Bloody, the word bloody comes from the word blood. No matter what it is that it is in English. Did you share? So, Gura is getting off. So, we are going to do it. They are getting off. Come to our ceremony to get. In fact, they ask me, Are you from our land? Yes. Did you do Gura? Did you get? Because in a Kikuyu system, you are not properly married until you get. And now, you can't buy me in a way. The other day, I asked one of the elders, Mr. Anamaki. I, I told him how uh, my friend and I agreed to, to buy him tea in a job. He said, Best teachers, what do you think you have gone back? I mean, we don't know about it, they're not so. But Christians have their faith, we also have our faith. And so he explained each of them and explained the importance of the goat dying. Now, you know, I asked him, 
If all you have time is meat, can I buy meat from a butcher? He laughed. Then they cannot be Gogona. They cannot be a ceremony if the meat is from a butcher. Why? See, this is the Jabrak, isn't it? See, if you go where they slaughter and it's cemented, isn't it? And the proper ceremony, the blood must go down so that the spirit of the dead also is free. Am I going to it is not a traditional ceremony on cement. If the mats go, down. So then you are sure when you sacrifice and shed blood, you are asking for the ancestral spirits to participate in your life. And the good, and I, please give credit to good news. They tell you open, then you come like a food. And they are told you, they are told you open, you are coming to share. You are coming for bread. And they are telling you it's called bread. Shedding of blood. Now, you need to understand that it is a terrible thing in real. You don't have to be very careful so that I'm not accused of attacking other tribes. So I'll give a lot of good examples. But they are available everywhere. In Roland, Mijikenda, the Tabetas, they are all there. And so it's very important to understand that something went wrong right from the beginning. Why? When the white man came, missionary, he condemned everything Africa. Some that he condemned, he had not been able to business. So we now are going back in mass without biblical advice on the matter. Let me give you a controversial example. When the missionary came, when you became a Christian and you had three wives, what did he tell you to do? You stay with the first one, the other two, and what happened to those children? They become fatherless. Am I right? Why is that in the Bible? It's not biblical. It's only a white man thought surely it was wrong with men. How can you have a man woman? Because in his culture, they, don't, they did not, polygamy had died so much earlier. So he could not stand the idea of a man having two wives. But the scriptures are written out with it. Because the New Testament was written to a culture similar to ours. Where there were men in polygamy. What were they told? If you have five wives and you are the six in the, in the family, all the six of you will go to heaven. Want to repent your sins. But because you have a church at home, do not come and become a leader in the church. That is both in the book of that both in the book of in the book of Titus and in the book of Timothy. My community. What was he what was he gonna be told? He was being told that even for ever man people, if they are repented, they are going to heaven. The only thing is they cannot lead at home and lead that. So they only have a chapter. But the white man came and said, no, no. Because the New Testament, the man said with his wife, only he could not become a church. So what has happened is because of that, we want to go back completely. And it's very important to, 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 to spend time just thinking about what we are what we are saying. You know, this issue is not very new. Go to Matthew chapter 15. I'm reading verse 1. Matthew chapter 15, verse 1. It says, Then some Pharisees and teachers of the law came to Jesus from Jerusalem and asked, Why do your disciples break the tradition of the elders? They don't wash their hands before they eat. In other words, even at the time of Jesus, there's what the Bible says, and there's what the elders say. And what happened is Jesus said to the Bible, but not keep to them, to teach him of them, they don't know. But they said, no, no, no. How can you put yourself a religious person and you're not keeping tradition? Nothing has changed. It's exactly the same. We are being told, be a Christian, but in addition to keeping what the Bible says, also keep the teaching of them, elders. Did Jesus agree to do it? Did Jesus agree to do it? No. So you need to understand that, that the difference. 
that you can't say you are a Christian and still continue being led by the teachings of the elders. You know, let's be clear. About the God, the Bible school, you know that. Every group of people have a belief system. If, uh, if five of us stayed in one house, right, before I got married, I was staying in the west with uh, three of my dear mates from campus, we got a house together. We didn't have time to take that tradition because they knew that that John is the one who makes you guys better. And the tradition was very clear, so and so is the one who David is the one who makes Christ better. So it became a tradition. The day he ate rice, so and so. The day of Bogari, he wrong to man. I'm not communicating. So it, it becomes a tradition. So there is no way you can stay together without traditions. Are we together? Now the only thing is you need to understand traditions come from resources. Every group you can go to, they come from resources. Source number one is God Himself. Because He's the one who created everybody. Therefore, even before Christianity was taught in Kenya, there was still godliness in Kenya. Let me give you an example. As I was growing up in the late fifties, one of the things I knew is that when people are passing, going wherever they are going, wherever it got late, you just knock on the door and they welcome you. I know that because my mother would have welcomed them. And then they would put a kunia. You know, the houses are very small in the late fifties. You put a kunia and the man sleeps near the fire the whole night in the morning, you give you it and it continues. You have no idea where he's came from, you have no idea where he's going, you just received. That is African belief system. In fact, we do we say, in other words, even if this guy is a treasure, don't question him. First of all, feed him. That is a kikuyu, a luya, a luo, way, a belief system. Do you know what's a very great that read in the Bible? Welcoming strangers is actually a biblical requirement. In fact, they say some welcome to strangers, they turn out to be. Can you see? We have that belief system before the Bible taught it, isn't it? So if you understand, in your own tribal system, there are things that are traditional yet biblical. So we don't come here condemning everything African. No. Because if you did that, you would have to reclaim the Bible. The Bible says all of us are Binanda, children of Abraham, and God is one of Abraham. So if you went to the tribe, you would discover many items that are in line with the Bible. And even as I get to say, you still must continue with them, because they are very Would you agree with me? Unfortunately, <laughs> all tribes have foreign people, foreign tradition, but they don't care. We now have the, de the devil among us. There is no tribe so far discovered that doesn't have demonic beliefs. You know, for example, if you get twins, both must die. Why? Because the tribe believes that it is one spirit that divides them. You can't keep those parents together. So the, the both babies must die. Is that biblical? Is that biblical? No. So can you continue with that again? No. So if you understand, there are many things that I can talk about, I can talk more, but you don't have enough right now. Belief system that people believe in, but they are not. A biblical, a biblical requirement. And so the day you get there, you no longer are required to follow those beliefs. Are we together? There's a dark source. I've given you one is demonic, the other one is God, the dark source is human. In other words, like that, the idea of Nana making Mugari and David making rice is not a godly issue. It just means an expert in each. Are we together? So every tribe has customs that are neither evil nor good. They are just a way of doing things. And when you get saved, you don't stop your culture. You don't stop those customs. Because there is no biblical requirement for you to stop them. I'll give you an example. Up to now, my wife makes, makes, makes a mokimo for me. In our day of the world, it's called Iyo, but it just tells you they don't know what Mokimo, in other tribes, are very strange. You take that food, and that food, and that food, and you mash it. So they say, how can you get good food and bad food there? Mash it. 
Ma no, per poter un tocchi, per niente, io non ho a me è stato il re di Asapoti, è un guerra. A chi l'ha fatto, ma vai in rosa e vai a chi è, è fatto il re di Asapoti. Da parte da Asapoti, è un guerra, 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 è un And he doesn't like your castle. He should, you, you're not asking to follow your castle. Then he can stay with me and allow you to stay with him. He was. That's the first lesson we need to establish. That we are not condemning all castles. We are only condemning demonic castles. And I think you need to, you need to understand that. So we are not back to where the missionary thought everything was right. So, Godly customs with Jehovah's origin, we have. Evil customs with Satan as origin, we reject. Neutral customs, you have a choice. The way you know it's a neutral custom is not my grandmother never told me. You're okay. No, there's no being told that when you eat Mokimo, you'll be blessed. It's just nutrition. So you need to understand those customs have no blessings or curses. They are just simply things you enjoy doing. And you have to ask yourself, what are those customs? And you need to check, to check them and see whether you are, you are doing it. So, however, there's a fourth item I want to introduce. Customs that are okay in themselves, but they are surrounded by demonic activities. For example, circumcision for those trying to circumcise. <laughs> If you grew up in the 1950s like me, before independence, circumcision was around December. At that time in Kula, for about one month, we sang songs that were so immoral that even today, think how many years later, if you whistle that song, I, I cringe. <laughs> and you know the funny thing is, the The, from the time the, the song started to the time the boys get sadness, everybody could talk. You, you are talking in the presence of your mother. I don't know how. There was a room, a room that allowed immoral, immoral, immoral talk for about three or four weeks. The day the boys get sadness, if you switch to that song later, your mother will beat you up. But for that period, you are allowed. But you know, there's a reason that you are here, isn't it? Now, you can, well, let's say you have no problem with the composition. You have a problem with the songs, isn't it? So you need to understand that that's true. Yesterday, no, on Saturday, I was, uh, I, was being, I was being interviewed in Hope, in Hope, Hope TV studio. And one of the young people told me uh, that they had, they had my book, this book, they said they had my book and they had read it. And he said, some of the things you are saying, they are real. He said, you know, I'm coming to you. I was born in a Christian family. But I listened to my uncles, I realized that for sure, if I get a family in the hospital, I will not be a proper man. So I ran away, went to my uncles, got a family traditionally. By the time I came back, my family was very unhappy because of a Christian family. But I was already dead. So I said, What was it? Was it just at the cat? Is it just a medical? No! After the cat, I can't even one item. They start teaching you how to be a Canadian man. Are we together? He said, but then he came back to, the, to Nairobi, and he's a safe boy. His Christianity was gone. And he says, for a long time, he struggled with the belief that was established. So can you see, you cannot, and you know we are very, very strange. Have you seen all the churches that are rising in the conversation? And one of the days, They call an elder to speak to the boys. Have you heard of that? What do you think the elder will teach The Bible? The pastor will not work on the Bible. He will not teach them the Bible, he will teach them the beliefs of the tribe. That's why many of those boys, when they come back, the mother says, pick, the, pick that place. He says, I'm not a child. He goes to high school, and there's a woman teacher trying to teach them, but you can't tell me that. I'm a man. All that, and many of them don't even pass for four. 
Who brought the destruction? The believers. That he is a man who cannot bear his own food. But that was the story. Are you starting to see that some of the customs we reject, some of the customs we accept, but there are some customs we redeem? What is redeem? You accept the priesthood, but not all the surrounding it. Because you do not want the mix up. So that's why we will both try to that sacrifice. We will still sacrifice that we are told the medical material. But the boy must know <laughs> that the boy will not sacrifice. And the one that tried to that sacrifice, and the one that sacrifice when they are in the same Christian union, there is no difference. Because maturity does not come with a knife. It comes by accepting Christ and allowing Christ to rule in your heart. But you know, as I'm speaking, that there are Bazaars here who didn't feel no very offended. Do you know how my friend is? Yes, you felt pain, but it did not make you feel better. <laughs> what matter is the teachings about maturity? Is it not what the Bible talks about? So it will be better. So I'm trying to tell you there is a, there is a category of customs that are not bad, but they are surrounded by some evil things. So you need to redeem it, have it in a different way. And uh, anyway, <laughs> I realize I've already taken, can't imagine, I've already taken 40 minutes. I'm still in the introduction. <laughs> you know, Somebody called Bian Kato, I will encourage you to pick his book if you find it. It's called Theological Peace Force in Africa. Theological Peace Force by Dr. Bian Kato. Dr. Bian Kato. Um, I quote him Let African Christians be Christian Africans. By this aphorism, Kato did not mean that African Christians should rid themselves of cultural practices. No. They did not, Qatar did not mean that we adopt the missionaries' culture along with the missionaries' faith. No. Nor did he mean that Africans should remain cultural and spiritual Africans for just touching a little bit here and there of Christianity. No. What did he mean then? He saw a regulating pivot between these two extremes called scripture. In other words, Bian Qatar says, you cannot, you cannot get born again and remain in African religion. Number two, you cannot become a Christian and become a white man and his culture. No. Let the Bible determine for you who you will be. Don't copy the white man. Don't copy your traditions. Look for what the Bible says about it. Let me go on. Bian Kato, I'm quoting you. It is God's will that Africans on accepting Christ as their savior, become Christian Africans. Africans who become Christians should therefore remain Africans wherever their culture does not conflict with the Bible. It is the Bible that must judge the culture, not missionaries. Where conflict results, the cultural element must give way. So the big question is, are you a good Christian or a Christian good? The people, the, the council of elders of Kikuyu are saying, no, we must as well be Kikuyu. Only after that be Christian. You go to the Bible and think, am I jealous? God. My brother will share with no one. So the only way of becoming a Christian is to surrender your Kikuyu. After all, my brother said, we must be born. Sure, I think I was born in 1922. I was born a Kikuyu. Sure, when I got saved, I could not be born again at the So I was already to yeah. I was now born next year. Yeah. I'm not going to do this. So if you are born again, you are no longer a Kikuyu. You are a Christian who happens to be a Kikuyu. And that's very critical. Because not because the Chinese in the elders, or the new elders, or the new elders, they are all emphasizing. You are first of all a new year, then a Christian. When you come to Christ, he says you must be born again. First Corinthians 5, 17. Behold, you have become a new The old has passed. What is that old? It's your tradition. Are we together? 
So you need to understand clearly that we must teach our churches the clients. That if you want to be a fool, you don't get saved. Please don't. Because if you do, you are thinking of his God. You know, the other day I wrote a book called Finding a Life Partner for Young People about issues to do with marriage for young people. Finding a life partner. I still remember I going to preach in Chuka University and one of the one of the young people, uh, another day, a graduate, who was in the mission with me, on my back said, You know, Brother Nana, I'm so happy I'm in your car. I said, Why? There's a question I've been wanting to ask you. I said, You have a lot of time. It will take us two or three hours from Chuka to Nairobi. Ask all of them. I said, Why did you write the book and, it, and gave it a bad title? Which bad title? Finding a life partner. What's wrong with it? Me, I want to teach my husband to the letter. So why are you talking about finding? I want to choose. I said, you do remember the scriptures. <laughs> if you know the scriptures, the last choice a Christian makes is the choice of Christ. The moment he enters your life, he becomes the master. He chooses for you. You only find out what he has to choose. Whether it's a job or a wife or a house, he is one who chooses. The moment you become a Christian, you lose the power of your choice. That's what you say, I'm born, I become a new creation. It means from that moment, you don't do what your friend says, you don't do what you even want, you do what Christ wants. So now you don't choose. You find what Christ has chosen. I got married to a girl called Dr. Rebecca Nandu in 1979. You know what you said? You would like to congratulate me for choosing such a, such a nice girl. And what you do? You are wasting your car. Why? I did not choose her. I just found her. But my family did me. So the car should go? And I know that. I don't even have time to live with it. But my, my, remember when we, when we did our A level, we used to feel university. But then it was the family that we choose. Who will go to Makere? Who will go to Dar es Salaam? Who will go to Nairobi? Me, I was animated in Nairobi. And she was animated in Makere. And because she is from Eastern and I'm from Central, we will never have met me until 1976. John Kenyatta issued a presidential degree. That all Kenyans in Makere must come back. Why? If the Amin was here in Kenya. If the Amin was here in Kenya. So he said that, he said, all students must come back to Nairobi. And that was 10 people I had a rover in the chairman of the city. That's how I met Rebecca. How can you? Have you seen? I only got a, a wife by presidential degree. <laughs> if Dr. Kenyatta had not issued the degree, she would have continued my career. Would I have, would I have seen her? And even I got my story, JT was. The wife you have is not your choice. It's God's. He's the one who brought you together. So it's important to understand that you can't call yourself a Christian and continue to have the power of choice. And the end of it, no, no, you have to do your jokes. Now, I have to find a way of, of, of finishing and hope that you can get the details from the. Um, and I'm hoping during question time I will deal with, with the other issues. Um, but the thing that is we must avoid is what theologians call syncretism. I promise not to use big words. There are many of us Christians who want to be Christians. But they also want to be traditional. And they are great people to go. If you like a big word, that's what the greatest is. Where you believe in both. The word of God is is the Magellan's God. My brother, if you are seated here, and there are parts of you that are following your traditional religion, please know something simple. You can't be involved. Because he is a jealous God. The moment you choose to do the tradition, you can continue in the church, you can even continue being a pastor, but you have nothing to do with God. He cannot share you with the devil. So the moment you choose the devil, he goes out. 
You are continuing to praise him, see me, and I'm seeing him in the But the truth of the matter is, Christ is not in you. If you want Christ to be in you, you must say, Lord, you have to have Are we together? And it will be very, very important that we understand that. You cannot. So, um, last, uh, again, in December, January, I knew, I knew a friend of mine ran me and said, Brother Nana, help me. I was home, and I want to start building. Then they told me, for me to decide where to build, there must be ceremony. You know, you get a call, you get one of the uncles because his father died to show the place. And I told him, you have a choice. Your uncles are not wrong. In their religion, you cannot build a house where the ceremony is not done. You are a Christian, isn't it? And this is God's work. There's nothing religious about the house. You can build it wherever you want, whenever you want. But if you want the blessings of the ancestors, we are come again. And if you must follow the rule of the religion. So the choice is yours. Do you want Christ's blessings or rule of this was to be so hard because my uncles will say, I said that was not new. The scripture say that Jesus came to bring a problem between a, a daughter and a mother. Is that in the Bible? Is that in the Bible? So what is surprising that when you become a Christian, you are crying is up again. Jesus has been predicted. So I said, young man, you can't be a Christian. If you are sitting here, and you don't have problems with your plan, there's a great likelihood you are going to see the direction. Because if you are going in a different direction, it's your right then. If you are walking one direction, can we go right? The moment you start becoming a Christian, you have a belief system. If you remember when I used to work in Kisuku, I left one of the young men to the road. And then he went for a while. When he came back, some hair disappeared. And I said, hey, young man, what happened to the hair? You know, they insisted that let the hair is cut. If anything happens, I'll be here at Chocolate. And you know, they have like to have trouble with the spirit. So I told them, I've become a Christian. They said, no, no, no. If you don't cut your hair, there's trouble with this girl. We will be a couple. So I told them, cut, but don't cut too much. So I said, I told you, so you say a few demons enter, but don't do it. <laughs> and I was able to explain to him. Jesus is a forgiving God. Only you must repent. Are we together? Amen. And so, if you are sitting here and there are traditions that you have already participated in, three things. Number one, you must have made it a sin. Number two, you must repent. Your the Lord to forgive you. Number three, you must tell your relatives you are sorry to have participated in it. Because if you don't tell them, the next one will still relate to you. Am I right? Yeah. And these things, these things are continuous. The other day I was again called by a young man. This is a queen. He told me, next week I have been invited home by my father. It's not even my father became a Christian, it's my grandfather or someone. We have been Presbyterians for several generations. But now he has called us home. But there are several problems. I think one of them has cancer. They are not, I don't know whether I don't know, not go to marry another one. But they said, you know, there must be some few days we do not do it. Right. All of you must come home for a blessing. So yes, Papa, how can you do that? They said, no, no, no. There are things that are done in Yeshu. But there are others that are run tradition. Say, your father, your father is very good. There's going to be an advance. It's your choice. Whether to go or my advice would be, if you are truly want God's blessing, read him. The Bible tells us, honor your brother. You must honor them. So don't just feel to them. Read them in advance and say, Papa, you have entered a new religion. I'm not about to be part of that religion. And just like Muslims and Christians don't go together, even Christians and traditions don't go, so I'm not happy. And if it has nothing to do with not respecting you, it is that that is not the system. I believe if God wants to heal cancer, he can heal cancer. I 
do not go to this to die. For God will heal. And if he dies, that will not be Jehovah who is healing. It will be because they will come back to us that are healing. And even if I knew I would be healed, I don't want the healings from ancestors. All healings from from God. So those things are not at hand. That's why I'm telling you it's not that story. It's up here. In fact, in the next one week, you will be tested on them. So they are they are for all of us. And I think it's some, something that we have to we have to deal with. Anyway, I must I might find a way of, of finishing. But my emphasis for you is that you must make up your mind whether you trust God enough or you require some other powers to protect you. And whether you're talking about dowry, because basically a lot of those um, things have to do with bad, bad ceremonies. There are a lot of beliefs about babies. You know, so a baby is born, the way you name the baby, the way you cut the hair, has spiritual issues. Am I right? The other day, I'm a, a, a lady in Nairobi, and I will not name her in case I'm talking about your relative. Now, the, w- w- the, the, the child was born, and the boy was crying, crying, crying. She rang her mother, and the husband rang his mother. The mother of the boy is not saved, the one of the, man, the, one of the girl is saved. There are two different stories. The one of the mother, the mother of the boy said, I'm coming to Nairobi. I know why the baby is crying. You called him the wrong name. The other one said, "Uh uh-uh, you don't believe in such things. I'm coming. Fortunately for the girl, the mother of the girl arrived earlier. And he says, what a beautiful baby you have. Tell me, are you producing enough milk? I'm not sure, mom. Says, most likely that's the problem. Let us give some, some formula milk. Say, no, 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 I was told by the doctor not to try. He said, yeah, that's what he told you. I'm now telling you, let's give the baby some milk. The baby was given milk and slept throughout the night. By the time the other mother is coming, there's no problem to sacrifice her. Baby. The baby was simply hungry. <laughs> Am I communicating? But those are the beliefs. Am I communicating? So you, you and a lot of us, the reason we go to them is because those beliefs are in us. So we feel like if we don't, anyway. Let me now, as I conclude, say a few things. Number one, you cannot join your cultural elders group. Why? I want to give you a few reasons. Number one, when we talk about the the, the Kikui one or the Kaliki one, all of them you are inducted through sacrifice. The people who are trying to change it from being called sacrifice, but it's still shed your blood. They will not allow you to come with me from the future. Then, I'm asking Pastor Maura to read for us the book of Acts 15, verse 20. Acts 15, verse 20. So when somebody tells you that for you to join the elders group, you must give. What does the Bible say about this? Because you see, you have to make up your mind. Do you follow what the ancestors teach, or do you follow the Bible? Pastor, can you read that way? Chapter 15, verse 20, it says, uh, Instead, we should write to them, telling them, to abstain from food polluted by idols, from sexual immorality, and from the need of struggle animals, <laughs> and from blood. Thank you very much. Don't sit down, yes? You want to go through them? This is the response to this. It was a conference like this one. They called a conference of all Christians, 10,000 uh, 10, and then um, others, whatever, whatever they were. And Jews, yeah, 10,000 Jews. And the question was, must a gentile stop his customs in order to follow the Jewish one? They debated, they debated, they debated, they came to a conclusion. What was the conclusion? No. Kikuyu don't have to stop Kikuyu customs in order to follow the Jewish ones. They can continue their customs except the following. Okay, please. So the list the pastor is reading 
is a guide at which customs a kikuyu or a duya cannot continue. Read the first one. You are guessing at verse 20 at the beginning of verse 20. In his step, we should write to them, telling them to abstain from food polluted by idols. Number one, any custom that is related with prayer, no idols is prayer, isn't it? Anything that has to do with idols, prayer of some sort, and it's not in the name of Jesus, it's not biblical based. That's what he's calling ceremonies that have to do with the demonic world. So I told oh, follow your custom, it's okay, but not any custom that has something to do with idol worship. And every one of you can tell very easily which customs are those. Any custom, when you are told, if you don't do it, there will be chira, <laughs> there will be a curse. That will see you. See the chira or the Terumi will not come from God. Where is it coming from? Demonic. So you can see the fact is very easy. It is beliefs or customs or ceremonies that have a belief system behind them. That they are going to don't know. That's why it is Mokimon. There's no belief behind Mokimon. Are we together? So that I can continue eating that. But there is also some Kikuyu customs that are totally different. They have connection with some belief system. For example, among many tribes, if you marry before the older daughter, there will be problems. Have you ever heard that? So that although your daughter has gotten a boy, you go, no, 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 I don't know how I went. I think you are the other one. You have New Testament problems. Number one, the New Testament does not protect people who are not married. Traditional belief is that you are not an adult until you marry. But Paul was single, and he got wrote about that for two thousand of the Bible. Are we together? So you can you see a belief that contradicts the Bible? Can you continue with it? And you think that we are cast. If you marry before you are older, sister. So if you continue with it, it means you have moved away from a belief of God. You are now in ancestral worship. That's the first check the Bible has given. Number two, from sexual immorality. The number two, you can go on your customs, but not customs that make you mix up one wife, one husband. Any ceremony that invokes sex in the religious act, that must go. You know they are there. Like if you are among the poor, after you marry, you can't just go and sleep with your wife. <laughs> so, you know, that's what we are doing. How do you do it? You are around the fire after the burial and you watch and feel the first ball cause with sounds. If you are a second ball, you don't go to your wife. If you are the first ball, if you do, there will be a curse. Is that cast from the Bible? So, my friend, in the last category, where you cannot sleep with your wife because your older brother has not yet slept, although I've seen, how do you go to your brother and say, Did you do it last night? <laughs> exactly. How, how do you do with it? That is immorality. Are we together? You know, you something like that. Sex has nothing to do with, as long as it's between a husband and a wife, there are no spiritual issues with it. Are we together? So you need to understand customs that have to do with the sex. They were told, Gentiles, fuck them. Don't get them go. Number three, uh, from, uh, from things or from struggles and animals. Number three, in the ceremony or that involves religious slaughter, a religious way or into struggle animals. Yeah. And from now, the because the struggle animals, it's a style of killing a goat differently than the religious. Like it could happen. If you are doing good you don't just kill the goat. There is a system, religious system, of killing the goat. And then there will be meat eaten by women, meat eaten by men, some boy, boys. You could use a man, right? That's what we have been doing for religious way of killing an animal. 
They say, no, 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 that one, you are not the one who continues to start battles. I find that. Now you can see. Black. Now black are not even given, you are not given several explanations. In this ceremony, that the Pope's shedding of blood, after the blood of Jesus was shed, is a demonic castle. To master. Are we together? Whether you are feeling chicken or a goat, whatever you are feeling, no blood. After Christ died on the cross, no blood can be shed without contradicting the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross. So that means if you want to have a, a grand ceremony in your house, you can't get a book there by the meeting the weekend. Why? Because your atonement are likely to be the blessings you are getting is because of the king of the court. Are we together? And the word of God has told you not to kill, not to shed blood. So there is, in a normal day in your family, you can feel about the need. The woman is going to be, it will be associated with something traditional. You better buy meat in a, it will be more expensive than to communicate with us. And then they say, hey, by the way, hey, which area are you going to get up? Let the people know. That we came from a witch. So they go to that thing. How can you protect that? When you are in the house, you also kill. And you know you, you kill properly without a ceremony. Then you are not teaching the God of you in their house, but they have to be done ceremonial. Have you seen what I'm talking about? Can you see how clear the word of God is? That, that it's not seen in some of our factors. In the study. So back to uh, being a member, why I cannot be a member of Kiama Kiamuri or Kaliki Council of Elders or Nuova? Why can I be? Because they require blood and the Bible is historical. I cannot participate in giving blood. So if you are here and you are a member of your Council of Elders, all you need is to repent. If you actually don't repent, you are going to choose a death call. You are booked a location in hell. You can continue in church, continue preaching, but the word of God has told us people who do those ceremonies. You remember that the matter at the beginning? They are sacrificing to So you can't be. So it, it's not that I don't want to be a member of the council of the respect, but I can't be because they are requirement. It's not something. Let me give you another, another example. Almost all of them lead worship. When there's a family or there's a driver, it is the camp of elders that pray. Am I right? When they pray as the schools, they say you must raise Mount Kenya, and instead of you praying the name of Jesus, you say, Thy the word of God is clear. If you want anything from God, you pray in the name of Jesus. But when you want something from the ancestors, you pray Mount Kenya. And you say that. Now, unfortunately, when you become a member of the Council of Elders, you are a junior. So you will not be the one leading. So you have to participate in prayer. The Bible tells you not to. So can you see? It is you, you, you. I'm telling you why I cannot join you. Because they require me to worship in a different way. Unlike like the way Christ was. So you can't be a worshiper of your home and be a member of that class of elders. Because you attempt to worship in a way that's not the, that's the scriptures will not allow you to. And you could go on and on. One of the other things is that they have a mother market, they have a law. The class of elders are the final say. And they are not Jesus. So if you join them, they will make you do things Jesus has told you not to do. And you have to decide which of them do you stay with. But I think the one you need to think about is 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 3. That says, John be misled. Bad company corrupts good morals. Now, once you join them, they are the leaders. They even have meetings. And when you not show up for the meeting, they are penalties. But is that a company that's helping you to be a Christian? Does that company help you to be a Christian? No. And I could go on. But one of the final things I want to say about those groups, they all emphasize. You are first of all an African, then 
Christian and you have learned when you become a Christian, you have to be born again. You are no longer, you are no longer of your time. You are also a Christian. That we have seen, for example, I'm a dear queen and you are a good. We are happy to agree more with you than we agree with my grandson. Do you agree that a Christian from another tribe is closer to you than a, an unchristian from your tribe? Do you agree? Yes. If you truly are worship of God, worship of God. And those are the things that, um, that, 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 that give you trouble. Anyway, I unfortunately, I must find a way of finishing. So I finish by saying this. Take every custom that you have in your tribe and do the following. Number one, classify what is religion and what is just a way of doing things. That's the first exercise you must do. Classify, because even if you religious, then of course you can't continue because you are doing it right. So classify. Don't start condemning some customs in your tribe which are not religious. Number two, ask, is that custom in line with the Bible? The book of Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1 to 5, says, In earlier days, God spoke to us through prophets. Mobile computer, to a number again. That was then. But in this last day, he has chosen to speak to us through his the other name of the son is the word. Because in the book of God's prophet, he says in the beginning was the word, and the word became flesh and built a man. So he is saying, in this generation, you are not allowed to listen to your prophets, your traditional teachings. Now, the only traditional teaching you can accept is the word that is in line with God's word. Are we together? And that, that's weird. So that's the that's second thing you take. Is it in line with God's word? Number three, does it involve blood? If it involves blood, the answer is no. Number four, ask this custom. If I don't do it, are there any consequences? Mysterious consequences. If there are mysterious consequences, the best thing is don't touch it. Because that means there are spiritual powers that are involved in it. So, in everything, as I conclude, the question to ask is, how does this custom serve and glorify Jesus? Because the moment you became a Christian, you don't want to do something that does not glorify Jesus. Or does it betray Jesus? Let's open up. I know I've not covered a lot of material. But I hope I have given an instruction to have an idea of what I'm saying. To me, I don't want it. Yes. See, to me, I don't want it. See, I don't want it. See, I don't want it. See, I don't want it. Because I don't want it. 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 We then, we don't want it. 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 We don't want it.
Goods, apa dua, dua ni. Terus saya sama dia pada atas. Do what they want. Kalau kuatkan kan, during dowry, she was okay. The way that they wait for you until that time. So they wait for you until that time. Yes, and the time you ask, during that time. So I'm asking if you can have gold, bishops, pastors, food and just. As long as they can have this man, this lady, I'm not going to get back. And when they go back home, get the wife from the parents, even though we have no problem with paying the dowry, but through the pain of the dowry, we are being honored. And we should just bless us and start the family. Dia tu sudah dia tak tu tu buat buat. Kenapa hari tu mereka dah pasti ni kok mereka kejar. Pasti kalau tak buat dia, tu yang kau ni. Kalau buat dia ni pun tak balik lagi buat tukar. Isis buat buat balik lagi isis. Somehow, ini lebih dua minggu buat alia. Nah, buat kesemua. Kita publikkan dari dia supaya dia boleh tidur di kesemua mana. Aku balik kiri, aku balik kiri, aku balik kiri. Tak saya ingat dia buat apa, aku boleh suap apa. Nah, you know you have not complicated the matter. Because you are Christian, but your son is not. Surely he is not a Christian. Mampi ya, dia ada apa-apa. Mampu ya, dia ada apa-apa. But the problem is, what is he getting when he is with the Adam? He has already got the Adam. You are son, I have already got the Adam. By sleeping that down before the wedding. He should have not done that matter. But he is get to leave it. Because the complication comes when the parents are safe, their son is safe, and they are being told to do things that are not right. But if their son is not safe, whether he does it or doesn't do it, he is not doing the demonic work anymore. That's why he can sleep with that down, even before the wedding. They are not going to leave it. Yeah, so, you know what I keep telling you, you will never hear me preaching to people to stop drinking. Because whether you go to hell, drunk or not drunk, hell is a bad place. <laughs> so it's not enough to stop drinking. You need to get born again. Are you together? So that issue of whether they, you pay dowry, whether you pay, if the guy, the boy is not sleeping with a car, let him give the wedding. Give the alcohol. Both of them are equally equal. We need to deal with that man. We must teach our young men. There is no way you can tell to be born again and sleep in the crowd before the wedding. That is more. And immorality is a danger point for the demonic world. We must teach it. Are we together? Of course, we also teach people who are already married who move out of their wedding. To another, it's still equal. Now, having having said that, oh, you want to say something before before I continue? I want to say that I've not answered your question. That that question I've answered, you've not asked. But you can say what you want to say first. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 His question is simple. Since it feels like you can be a Christian, see them to the court until your son is waiting. They are waiting for you. The day you come, they force you to do a Christian thing. But they tell you there is no way that God will leave that home until they are always given. Because, according to them, you, the way you bless a child is to put the saliva on their chest. And that saliva only comes when Moratina has entered the mouth. <laughs> so, we are not asking you to become a drunkard. We are only saying we want to bless our daughter, our, our son to be. And we don't say that a method of blessing, except through saliva. Why don't you do the clear? You don't know their blessing. 
Because you don't want to be impressed with me. So tell them, we have not come here for blessings. We have come for permission. We do not want to carry your blessings without your permission. If it's blessings, it's okay you can feel without giving. Because the blessings you want are coming from? From God. I mean, somebody can get you open in your face. The way to bless is to do it the ancestral way. Do you want to get hold of your daughter to get that kind of blessing? No. So the first thing is more clear. Number two, I do not support you telling the pastors to ignore. Because you remember, I told you about that they, they are accustomed to reject customs you accept, and that custom accustoms you repeat. Do you remember? Then if you go to the Bible, you can see clearly a wedding is something biblical. Are we together? And the wedding is the family of the boy and the family of the girl coming together. So the idea of when you are starting your seat, have a girl in your dad, old man. The idea of the family of the boy going in advance to the family of the girl for the two families to go each other. Anything and Christian about that? No. So we do not want to encourage the pastors and bishops to stop that activity or people knowing each other. The only people is once you arrive there, you must come out clear. And you need to come out clear that this meeting to rush your you to me. Christians never go to rush. They only go for Ugoni in English. Christians do not give that one. They give gifts. I'm not going to give gifts. And we follow the example of Eliezer. When you went to get, when you went to get Rebecca or Aisha, did he pay that one? Never. What the children did not give that one? That one is money demanded by the parents. Give is something given by the parents of the boy by their choice. That the 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 you know the story, isn't it? So, when you go to the parents of the God, the Christian thing is to always go with gifts. I will tell you. So there's nothing wrong with gifts. That one is different. Because that one is demanded, and the other one for that one is right in Christ. You know what is a trade? And you cannot be a Christian and be both in trade. Why? And of course, I'm a grandfather myself. So my, my daughter has already, has already got the money. When my, when my, my son-in-law brought the car and they came for a ceremony, we, we said that this meeting is a meeting of the Gita. One of the guys said, but you know, we want to do something. I said, here, you can't do anything. I'm going to accept it. So you don't have to convince me at all. I'm happy to see my daughter get married. So there's no way, it is the wrong thing Surprise to my daughter. She's not valuable. She's being valuable. Tasa, we need to be able to do it. We need to be able to do it. Price, what is price you're doing? Nothing. You want to do nothing? Nothing will happen to you. To go to a Christian. And to not need it? So, where do you get a Christian? And where do you get a Christian? A king who has a head and a name, he has a power. But the other, the other, the other, the other, the other, the My friend, the other day, one of the people I told you, they are in the same group trying to help in several problems. They were invited to go to, I think it was men. And when they went there, they were in the street. Their son is said, the dad is saying. So they told the dad in advance, we are not coming as a news. We do not want to receive your people as men. But at point when they reach there, you know them say the father is not one of them, it's another aunt for them. They say no. But if they go out there, you cannot start ruling us. 
you must give what the Bible requires. And you know, they now they are not that they are elevated. They are elevated it down. They, my friend was the one who was a, who was a spokesman. They started to say, we, we respect you, but please don't do that thing after this. We are not having tradition. So you need to give us, we don't give a gift. We want you to receive us as Christians. We have come with a gift. We would like to please, please with you to accept a gift as your visitor. But the real subject we are here for is for you to give us permission that our son marries you up. You know, they went around in circles, around in circles, around in circles, saying, please, if there's nothing we have in that God we gave, we are not going to be involved in any of the To this bright bright no, we are not happy. After a lot of time, they were speaking. They started to say, can you go outside and start? They said, did we tell you we had to start? If we go down there, we'll come back and repeat the same thing. So they, they said, so maybe we should be the ones to go out. So my friend said, if you want to go out, it's okay. So they said, the other ones who are left in town. <laughs> and these ones went out. They went out there. They fell off the car. You know, you can see them holding a number up. So he said, we can't, we can't continue spoiling my daughter's wedding. <laughs> No, 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 no. They cannot have to do that in our own. But they're not doing that. They're just asking us for permission. Do you know by the time they came back, the spokesman was in the room. The father of the girl is talking. He said, he stood up after they came back and said, Can you repeat what they did exactly in water? So my friend repeated, We want you to receive us as Christians. We have come with a gift. We were like, Can you? So he said, Okay, you can bring it. He moved from his pocket. You know these days you don't go with cash, but this will be there again. So he had the bankers. So he took it out, gave it to the father of the car, he opened, he saw it was more than half a million. Now what they were fighting for was maybe 300,000. So the gift was about that. Are you getting the point? He stood up there when my brother embraced him and they sang to present the result. The was over. You need to understand, a lot of those who can down those issues, the negotiations have to do with people who are greedy. They are looking for, for money. Are you there? So, my encouragement is, go there with a gift. And a gift is determined by the giver. If you are rich, don't give according to the needs of those people. Give according to your own ability. Similarly, the day the girls people are coming to see your home, they also must come with that gift. I'm not going to it. Because we are supposed to communicate a unique fellowship, not popular. So Christians do not go for rush. They go for Nevertheless, you can still have the ceremony like that without entering into the dowry issue. And you know, in a lot of homes where we have gone, we have, we, my mother's what I recommend, you don't go up here, there to tell them. They tell me to do that side. See, that guy would have gone. Talk to her in advance. The way you shall come to your place is as follows. And I do that because just ask here. A young man, my mentor. I tried to talk about this, you know, we went the first time. And they, they refused us for free. So he said, okay, you come with, with the car. So they came on board of it. So I asked the car, do you want to be bought? No, 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 brother, no, I don't want to be bought. Then go and tell your parents, it is not the, the other man refusing. It's me who does not want to be bought. I'll be better at it. But you start haggling on a million, two million on me. So, because the father of the never all had his own daughter, are we together? Or that is assuming that he has been a Christian dad who has lived very well so that he is respected by her father. If he says that all of before, the father will accept it. So, by the time you are going there, they already know what to expect, and your meeting will be far more easier. Are we together? That's one. Number two. If after you have done everything, when you go, 
They totally reject the reject the, the another they put both of them two years ago. I took the young man. I know that because he's student of Justin University. And then uh, when I took him, we were having a refuse. The father said, only after we allow me to open my mouth. I can't go. And when he came from, there's a bar here, they just go back to a beer bottle. I explained, or the spokesman, we can't do that. We don't believe in that act of faith. You know, we have more than two seats of crop, they, we still have no book. So he left without a decision. When we left, I talked with my young man, I told him, go back now, as he speaks a son in law, and explain him to hear him like that. When he went, it was not much, he said, yeah, go ahead, marry And now, and of course, those are many years ago. So it's important to understand, since the Bible is categorical, only your father are the idea of a bishop by asking the parents is a different thing. You can't claim to be a Christian and you know the parents of the God. Am I clear? But if the parents have done everything possible so that they know, in fact, I don't want to tell the boys, if your parents have refused, postpone the wedding. Go and tell your parents, I feel mom like some of them refuse because the girl is under tribe. Although they are safe, the father says no. I say, don't postpone your wedding. Why? You want to communicate to your parents how much you respect them. And they know where the Bayani is because they don't have postponed it. So you to postpone it to communicate how much you respect them. Say, I'll come back and I'll pray for you. I'll come back in six months or in five months or whatever. And hear what you are saying. I hear God has not been married this month. So that will not change. But I really want to pray that they will do that you are going to give us permission. When you come back after postponing, if you still standing there, don't go behind his back. Tell him, you have done what the Bible requires us to do. I'm going to go to a pastor to wear that without your permission, but you know how to go to When they finally come to the bishop, or the pastor. The pastor himself must take the telephone. This day, they are more about even with old men. Am I together? Don't leave them there. Call him. Say, your son is here with you. Your daughter is here with me. He is saying the following. He says, who? The Muslim will tell you yes. And then he says, you now, you now use your older mind to persuade him as to why he should allow. If he still refuses, now you are free. If they are 21, they are adults. You see, now you now can marry them, but not behind the parents' back. Have I explained? So, in the end, you will not get peace or not respect in them. And because we pray to a God and we have prayers for along the way, they are likely to change. Are we together? But to check, ah, I am a big age here now. <laughs> it needs to be understood. God's word is not a suggestion. Honor your father, ah? Huh? Have I answered the question, my friend, now? Huh? Go ahead. Thank you. Any other question? Ah, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I forgot to make a question. Now, the, your question is different. You, when you got married, you may not even have a Christian. You agreed to sign a project line and you get the three million. But now you are going to give them half a million. What do you do? Is that, is that a good summary of your question? Yes or no? What is this? Can you hear me? What is that? You must hear me. You must hear me. For example, you need to apply the hand of me, of me, of me, of me, of me, of me, of me. But in the form of the Lord, the king and the Lord are three million, but in the form of the Lord, the Lord is a million. So I can't be a million, and a million. That's a million, but a million. Here you are, 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 Mula-mula berlaku di dalam. Jika mana sedia, mana ada apa? Ia itu. Jika mula-mula berlaku di dalam, mana boleh. 
पुलिस का रैक रैक रहा है
We who are here in this trade, are we expecting to sell our daughters? So, can you say there is nothing to fear? Because they care what? What do I do? There is nothing you do. Don't ask for anything for your daughter. Therefore, there will be no problem that you didn't give or you gave. Because the two are not related. Are we together? Yeah. So, the question itself betrays the beliefs. Are we together? So, you don't have those beliefs. You don't have faith. What about if you are here and you are very tired that you will be paid three days? So you have been married for 20 years and you have not paid. My advice says you need to go back to your father in law. Explain to him that you have a problem with the issue of doubt. You like to give him gifts and that you don't need to be right to come. You know, if it's a good day, it's a good day. People are going to be bad. When you know my right, tell him to, to ban it. <laughs> because you do not want him to be counting for the gift. Tell him, I'm right to give you much more than that. But please, don't call it that way. Call it. And from then onward, remember your, your wife's parents. And your parents. You agree with me? Yes. So when the, when the Bible says, honor your father and mother, does that include your in law? Yes. Yeah. So that really the answer to that question. Who wants to be the last one? As a question. Yes, go ahead. Amen. 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 Now, I have never heard that somebody say that uh, according to their plan, if somebody died, they have agreed with their plan that if somebody died, no one should have sex until uh, they bury the one who is it, uh, is it now what you are saying about uh, you and two brothers that are uh, Wagun in Kuki, Ugari, and other? Like, is it something like that or is something to do with that? Let me ask you a question. Yes. When, if you refuse and have sex with your, with your wife, assuming you get from such a man, and they have said that, and you decide not to be having sex. Is there anything that is likely to happen to your family? According to what they are saying. According to me. No, 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 according to them first. <laughs> yeah, according to them. If you don't obey, what will happen? Uh, I, I don't know what will happen to them. <laughs> because it's some, somewhere I, I, I got to that uh, from somewhere. Yeah, yes. the main message is they came with me. Yeah. It's a curse. That somebody left a curse. That here, if you have sex before, before the battle, they will be in trouble. So the reason they have it is not they, it is his fear. So can you see where is the person now? Yeah. yeah. So anything that we can say that Anything that has to do with beliefs, we agree, they must be checked against the Bible. Yes. If they are not in the Bible, they must be checked. Yes. Did we say that? Yes. Alright, uh, maybe now we start the discussion also. Can you read for us? First Corinthians 7, that the 9. First Corinthians 7, that the 9. And as he's looking for it, who wants to ask the last question? We were supposed to say, if people can ask me, then how about them, and then you suffer. Okay. Okay. Then I better sit down and write. Okay. Yes. In the meantime, first Corinthians. Seven thirty-nine. Yeah, we don't need to finish that then. then. First Corinthians seven thirty-nine. A woman is bound to her husband as long as she lives. But if her husband dies, she is free to marry anyone she wishes. 
but we must belong to the Lord. That is the bus and the trolley tower. In Dawai, the Dawai is not given by the Lord, it's given by his people. From them onward, that woman belongs to the clan. But in Yaruya, Rhodes, Delaware, or Zambia, and about the Zekari, they say, you now belong to the clan. If your husband dies, you still belong. You are what? So only one of the brothers can take you over and do it. Why can you say that? Are we together? But unfortunately, that was the old testament. When he gives the new testament, all he wants is, he is saying, you are never born. You are married and you death to us. And as soon as you die, you are going to free to marry anyone. If you don't want to marry somebody, you are not. The problem is, if your daughter was born, would she have been born as well as mine? Can you see the trouble you are putting your daughter into? By a second daughter? How about this? Because you see, that might be she belongs there. The fact that no, 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 you don't. If you have a dad, you can marry. Anyway, as long as he is born, okay. So we do That's why we can't give our name, can't accept our name, because we want to obey first one year, seven pass. I think we better now pass the mic. Yeah, I think we can ask her then and the secretary can be there. Yeah, uh, secretary. Yeah. Yeah. She can write for me. Okay, but maybe you can write and it is okay. Yeah, write and send it. Yeah, so that all of them can be summarized. Look for a piece of paper. Yeah. If you can't tell, you are still free to ask for another two of these. If you are a little bit of a book, you can ask for another two of these. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I think uh, this is one of the best schools. Uh, my question is uh, on the same issue, halfway it is answered, but uh, there is a case scenario which is still current. Up to this morning I was still dealing with it, where there is a young girl who is uh, a Christian born again. Her uh, mother is a God's name, a very serious Christian, but I think a Christian is not yeah. And uh, uh, she is a sinful mother. Yeah. The mother of this girl is a sinful mother. Mm-hmm. And, uh, she has her first born daughter uh, who is married, but uh, not in any type of way. How we stay? The how we stay, which keeps on sometimes we call it. Uh, so sometimes they separate, sometimes they are together. Now, this young girl who wants to get, uh, the, the, to get married, she approached the mother to give her permission. But uh, and then the mother went to see her own parents. Who is also single? No, no. The, 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 the grandparents are married. Okay. Uh, so it's only the mother who is single. And now when she had gone to see the mother, she was told, uh, first of all, she has never been in the dowry herself, so she cannot be single. And then uh, her daughter, who is married in the family state, has never brought anything, so she has to pay. Before they can receive any dowry from the girl who, is, who intends to get married. And she wanted to get married by May this year. I was still dealing with this issue even early this morning. And uh, uh, now the, the issue is uh, when they, they were in the process and the, their bodies have already visited the home. But can do however, they then move on to keep out the way forward, so they are waiting in the court to come back. But in the process, they discovered the first known daughter of this lady is pregnant. So there is not, there has now come another story that our our wealthy book of Russia, because the first known daughter is pregnant, and even if the mother thinks the dowry for this girl who goes to get married cannot be received until the first known daughter delivers, which is maybe somewhere November there. And uh, then, then there is this situation now where the girl is in the heaven. She is about to be Christian, she wants to get married, but she cannot go. So she is having a lot of trouble there and crying. That's the scenario. Uh, what is the way out? <laughs> From what I have said, 
the whole deal is revolving around money. If the mother of this girl does not want her, why was she going to have her? It is so that the father can give permission for her to receive dowry. If you remove the issue of dowry, that girl can get married from the day. So that's why you find so many enterprises. But that is first Corinthians 7 at the night. You will share with this girl and her mother that they can go ahead, but if they are going to see dowry, it means their religion is a good religion. And if they do religion, if they dare to keep down, they are asking for a curse. They will leave. So they dare not to leave. So they have to determine are we at a Kikuri ancestor really worship or are we at a Christianity? At a Christianity, we don't receive that. At a Kikuri, we receive that. So which one is which? So I agree with the, with the parents of this evil car. Why do you want that? Do you remember? Give up. Does it doesn't mean you believe you are giving our faith? How about we are taking our faith and not to enjoy our faith? So let her understand the things we have discussed here. Now the only problem you are saying is not a serious Christian. The matter of this girl is not a clear Christian. So my we are back to the root we follow. Where she needs to take clear she doesn't want dowry, she is not going to be receiving the dowry, therefore. The parents, the grandparents are going to answer, ever answer, let the wedding go without any doubt. Now, if they sit on that, there needs to be understood to be a fact where the grandparents are not the problem. The mother of the girl is the problem. And if she could be left with the Lord, to receive the Lord as a person of safety, then she will become the master. If he totally reduces, I would suggest. Let the girl know, even if you wait, I will not, whoever is coming for me will not pay the girl. They only give me. They only give me. So whether you wait or don't wait, for the first one to give us or not give us, this is my son. And if she understands and accepts that son, my suggestion would be let the girl postpone her wedding from me to a little man. It's a way of showing respect to her man. If after that, if she still doesn't change, then you as a pastor can go ahead and wait for it. But only after telling them that you really would like their permission. But they should tell them that's not a daily event. Am I clear? Okay, uh, sorry, because of time, I think we are not asking this even more. I think. We just read these questions, uh, then our uh, preacher will respond. Maybe we can still have them, but for another time. That's what I'm um, Is it the more that? So, then uh, I'm sure we can't finish it. Pastor, I guess before you finish, can I give you my, my number? You text me the questions and we can continue after the meeting. Yes. 0743, if you're interested in not discussing that. 0743 034 157. Send me a WhatsApp message or a text. Um, and then you can pick it, you can pick it from there. You see, pick the number? 0743. You need a dial that's going to be affected. 0743. Yeah, you can put it on the screen. 0743 034 157. That's one. Number two, please go to YouTube. And this month that you have discussed, I've already placed the teachings there. YouTube account. Mine is Joe N.N. Nani. Joe Eden Man YouTube account. And if you Google culture, you'll see a lot of a lot of videos or audios on it. That you can go to my website. My website is ww.johnganga.com. Let me repeat. ww.johnganga.org. If you go there, if you search culture, you will see about a lot of free teaching on the map. And then, of course, you can, if you want my books, you can go to the only bookshop here in Alima or in Church House, and you can get the books from, from the Tripe Union bookshop. I think that means you've done this. So, I'm answering these ones, but the discussion can continue.
Thank you very much, Pastor. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Uh, so your channel is uh, thinking we conclude at that now that you have uh, given us that. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we are, we are being issued. Not that they are, but even the ones who have written. Yes. Now, kindly please lessen the because of time. Plus, uh, the books are actually here if you are able to buy. 600 editions. Christianity and Culture. The other one is uh, Is Your Marriage Christian or Tradition? We are going for 600 shillings to get there. So thank you so much. Let's appreciate uh, our speaker. Let's appreciate our speaker. Thank you.